What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a very cool effect. I'm going to show you the typewriter effect, and I'm going to show you how to make it look like it's typing out in real time. Now let's get started. Now if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm always creating new content. So let's head down here in the timeline. So right away I have this clip of this kind of dark night, looks like snow coming down as people are driving. So I'm just going to put some typing across the top in the dark so it really stands out. Kind of has like a David Lynch Lost Highway feel to it. So let's go back here. So now you have the clip that you want to put it on. So I'm going to come over here to the type tool, which is in the tool panel towards the bottom. Click type and just pick where you want the type to be. I'm going to put it right across the black and I'm going to just type out type type effect. Okay, so now we have that. So now that's just a standalone. I'll stretch this out to the front. So that's just a standalone effect. So obviously that's not what we want. So I still have this selected. You'll see the white border around there notify me that it's selected. I'm gonna go to the very first of the clip. And now that we know that it's selected, head up here into the source panel and you're gonna see the text right there. So come over to the drop down menu, drop that down. So these are all the effects and ways you can adjust the text. You can adjust the color, you can adjust the size, you can adjust the font, you can adjust whatever you want. But I like that text font that I have right now. And what we're gonna do to get that effect we want of looking like it's typing out as it's moving, we're gonna head down here to where it says source text. You'll notice the stopwatch icon and it'll, when you hover over it'll say toggle animation and that's exactly what we wanna do. So when you start, the, when you click this, it's gonna turn blue and it's gonna set a keyframe because you're saying you want animation of some sort to evolve. So click that. Now you notice if you come over here, one keyframe placed right there. So we've said from this point, we want to start something. But obviously we don't want all the text from that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete all of it except the T. So now we have just the T there. We'll go back to that main starting keyframe point and we're going to come down and click on the video aspect. So this is very important. Always make sure you have the white border around the video or the text because we're going to toggle back and forth between each letter and set keyframes. So now we're on the video. We can go left to right with the arrow key and go one frame at a time or you can hold a shift and toggle right. And it'll jump five frames at a time. So let's go back to five. So now we've decided we've moved forward five frames on the video side. Come back up here and click the text. It's gonna redo this. So now we're five frames ahead of that original keyframe. So now we have that active. Let's head over here, click on there and put the next letter. Let's do the Y. Okay, so we have the Y now. Let's go down and let's highlight the video clip again. You'll see the white border. And let's go another five frames by holding shift arrow key forward. So now we have that forward five frames. Let's go back and click on the typing section again. And let's come up here and let's do the P. So now we have the P. Let's go back down to the video, highlight that again. Shift forward arrow. Now we've gone five frames again. Let's go back up and do the same thing. And we have E. And then let's go down again. Go forward five frames. And even on this, instead of typing the next word, you just do the space and that'll be the keyframe. Go back down to the video, shift forward five, go back up to type, we'll do E, go back down to video, another forward five frames, hit the type again, go back up, do the F, another five, so on and so forth. Okay, so now we have the whole thing typed out. Type effect, oh, type effect. So now if we come down here, we don't need to toggle anymore and we have the type effect. Now if we come up, remember how we, we click the stopwatch icon because saying we want to do keyframes. Every time we adjusted it, it automatically places another keyframe. So if you head over to the section here on that same line, you're gonna see all these different keyframes. Let me stretch it out. So now these are all the different letters that appear in the keyframe. So if I play it out, 
Now, we did those all exactly five frames apart. So obviously when you're typing, you're typing at a different rhythm. So you can move these around however you please to give it a different type of natural typing pattern because nothing's going to be exactly the same. So you can kind of give them a different look. Now if you look at it, see how it has a different pace to it? So you can manipulate these in different ways. And then once you have that, you can go online and search any sort of type sound effect. You're going to see a ton of them. So now we have that set up here. We'll give this a listen. I'll turn the volume up. And that is it. That's a very cool effect. That's the easy way to do it. And you can manipulate the speed, the type, the font, the size, and you are good to go. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. That being said, have a great day. Later.